Hey guys, welcome back to a sunny day here in Florida. As you can see, it's raining. I got rain on my helmet. So, I wanna go step by step on how to make an Exocet Street Legal here in Florida. And so far what I've done was I came down here to DOT, turned in my packet for a kit car or an ASPT kit, um, turned that in, and then they gave me uh, paperwork and an appointment for a visual inspection, which is what I'm about to do. Um, and so after you go down to DOT and go get your uh, paperwork completed, they send you an email, then you can go get your temp tag, you just need your insurance, your driver's license, and uh, your original title. So, uh, they probably don't want me to videotape the visual inspection, so I'm about to go through with that, and I'll tell you guys how it goes after here in a few minutes. Sorry if there's a bunch of wind noise, but we just got done with a cold front that's coming through right now, so the weather's actually deteriorating. It's supposed to, get to be down to like 44 degrees tonight. But anyways, I wanted to sum up my inspection, uh, what they looked at. Uh, I was not told to bring down the Exocet uh, VIN number, which I had to go run home and go grab. Um, but they basically had me sit in the vehicle and turn on my blinkers left and right, front and rear, uh, headlights, high beams, uh, brake lights, and then they um, they did ask about the airbag, why the airbag was light on, and that the kit car was not really required to actually have an airbag. Um, and other than that, it was kind of painless. He really didn't say a lot. Um, it was pretty simple. Uh, other than that, so step so far of what I've had to do is I went up to DOT, filled out my packet, turned in the packet, and then had a day before, so it has to be a day before your inspection, you're, you are allowed to go grab a temporary tag, but you have to get that from the DMV. Um, so you go from the DOT office to the DMV office, then go back to the DOT office for your visual inspection, and then now you go to the tag, uh, and, uh, tag place to go get your actual tag. Um, so it is kind of a lot of back and forth, but so far it's been about two days out of work to do this. Um, but I mean, it's, really it's painless and I wouldn't want to title this as a Miata anyways. I would rather title it as an Exocet as it is. Um, so bring your uh, regular VIN plate for your Exocet. And then you also get your inspection up there. So now I got my Florida inspection tag. And now I am DOT approved. So not too bad, pretty painless. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, please write some comments, uh, like, subscribe. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.